Yes. Um, well, they closed the case. Like, now, I've been fighting for it for two, since 2017, since they closed the case. And then I talked to the attorney, and they said that they're going to send a letter to my mom for her to sign. What else can I do to make it a little faster? You know, I do want my children. My children are growing. Yes, and when I'm attorney Vince Davis, and I think we are joined, at least by audio, with by, with our co-host Aaron Carranza. Aaron, are you there? Okay, maybe she's not there yet. Let's take our next call. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you you great. Can so, you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, we'll work on okay. that video for the Facebook Live. But you ready to take yeah. another call? I am. We have Anna from California. Do you have a story to tell or a question to ask, Anne? Yes, I have both. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Oh, yes. Well, I've got my children taken away since 2017, and that was from my mom. She called CPS on me four times. The four times they didn't take them away from me, the fifth time they did. Because, you know, I was frustrated. I never hit her. I never put hands on her. But that made me very, like, frustrated because it's like, why are you calling them? And I never hit you. I'm not on drugs. And, you know, I've been through a lot of pain with my mother in the past. But I'm still trying to let it go because I always wanted her as a mother. And I never wanted her to be away from my children. But, you know, it really hurts. But I'm still fighting for my children and I did everything the court asked me to do. Like I did parenting, like um, domestic violence, all of the classes they were asking me to do, I finished them. I'm in school, I'm going for a medical administrative assistant. I have my own apartment. Mm -hmm. They still haven't hey, been my children back and it's very frustrating. What's your, what, so you've done all your classes and taken all your courses, what is your, what predicament are you in now? What question are you needing to ask? So you just how to get your them back in general, or is there? Yes, I want them back in general. Looking for. Yes, I'm, I want them back in general, and the the CPS lady, you know the um the worker, they were kind mm -hmm. of rude to me as well. They would they would say little comments like, "Well, you you're gonna get paid to my mother and stuff," and it was like, "Okay, you expect me to be mad? I'm not gonna be mad. I'm just gonna be a older person about the situation." Hmm. Anna, did you have a specific question you wanted to ask me this evening? Yes. Um. Well, they closed the case. Like now, I've been fighting for it for two thousand since two thousand seventeen. Since they closed the case. And then I talked to the attorney, and they said that they're going to send a letter to my mom for her to sign. What else can I do to make it a little faster? You know, I do want my children. My children are growing, and I don't want to lose lose that love that I have for them. Well, Anna, let me ask I'm you something. I'm the one that made them. Anna, let me ask you something. When the case was closed, did your mother adopt them or become the legal guardian of them? Legal guardianship. Okay, so I want you to know that as long as there's legal guardianship, you can always file paperwork with the court to try to get them back and or to get more liberalized visitation with your children in terms of frequency per week and duration, you know, how long the visit's going to be or whether it's going to be monitored or unmonitored, supervised or, you know, not supervised. So you always have well, that. I think I've done like a lot of um, monitored visits. They never gave me unmonitored. Okay, so if you've done everything, I think you said that at the beginning, if you truly have done everything and you have all your certificates, your letters of completion and all of that kind of thing, you can talk to your attorney about filing a 388 to get more liberalized visitation, perhaps overnights and weekends, or to even get more family reunification services, and of course, to even get the children placed back with you, either all at once or one at a time, something like that. 
Okay. Yes, we're working on it. But it's like, you know, I'm a mother and we get a little frustrated. Like, we want things to go a little faster. We're like a little impatient. Right. You know, there's an old saying in the law, and I know uh, people don't like to hear this, but it's true. And the saying is, uh, the wheels of justice turn slowly. You know, so sometimes you just got to be patient and work through that and, you know, just be persistent. I talked to a gentleman earlier today, one of my clients, and he is methodically uh, moving towards, you know, uh, reunifying with his children. It's been a long road. He's had a lot of significant problems, but he never gave up. No, so, so. and to be honest, sometimes I feel like making a protest in front of the court or in the DCFS place all by myself. Right. Hey, hey you, Anna. Wait, wait, hold on yes. a second. Yeah. No. Anna, okay, did, go ahead. You, did you hear that, what I talked about at the beginning of the show? We're going to be looking for um, voting captains. Uh, so if you're in California, you might want to volunteer to be a county captain or a city captain. And if you do, I want you to call my office and leave a message because we're going to put you on a list and you're going to help us uh, do that protest, but at the ballot box. You know, I heard a song. Yes, I think I, me I, I mentioned this before. Um, you don't need the bullet when you have the ballot. That's from an old school. Because I actually want to help women that's been through the same thing as me. I mean, I'm a young adult, but I want to help girls that's been through, that are going through a little situation like me. Right. I want to be positive hey. about it. I'm a fighter. Anna, Anna, yeah. I have gone, I'm going through the same thing that you are. And it's hard to be patient when your children are taken away from you. But what I tell everybody is be patient. Don't let them see you you know, sad, you know, take notes, document everything, keep going, keep doing your lessons, keep doing your classes, do everything that they ask you to, whether it's begrudgingly or not, but you will get there and, you know, document everything. And that way you have it written down in a book so you can flip to it when you go to court or something. It's really important. I just, as a mother going through the same thing. Because I, I, I had my child taken, too, and I know the heartbreaking day in and day out. You want to hurry it up, but like Vince said, the wheels of justice, they turn very, very slowly. Yes. Hey, Anna, I want to thank you for calling, of course, and thank you for listening. Call us back in, you know, three or four or five well, weeks no. and give us an update Can on I what's get, going on. Can I give more information about that um, protest thing you were saying? You know what? I want you to call my office, leave your name and number, and just tell them you're calling about the uh, CPS voting. Uh, okay. And and I'll get back with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Anna. You know, there is somebody on Facebook Live that um, just messaged me and said they want to be part of the ballots in the voting process. Um, and if you do... If you're out there, no matter where you live in the United States, because we're going to do this nationally, by state, by county, by city, call me and leave a message. And your name's going to go on a sheet, on an Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to start sending out information about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. It's time for a change. It's time for new uh, representatives. It's time, perhaps, sometimes, you know, to vote. If Instead of complaining about that judge, you know, so quit complaining and do something. In California, I, I think in a lot of states, judges have to be elected. Or if they were appointed, they have to be reelected. So let's quit complaining and let's start voting. Cynthia, did you want to add something? Not Cynthia. Um, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> no, I, you know, I was just saying that um, it's very frustrating being a parent and not having your children. And one of my questions for you was, Two minutes. When they come in, they just rip your child away. But when they give their child back to you, they don't just give you your child back. They like do this long, drawn out process. And I was wondering why is that? Why is the reunification for for someone to come back to their mama? Like, why does that take twenty nine days of everyday visits? Or you know, you took them. Why don't you just give them back quickly? I know I've had a lot of people ask me that question on Facebook, and I don't have a logical answer. <laughs> you know, there, there is no logical answer. 
there, there are many reasons, many, many reasons, some valid, some not valid, a lot not valid. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, sometimes I think, you know, it has to do with money. Sometimes I think it has to do with liability. Sometimes I have, I think it has to do with personalities between the parent and the worker. Sound familiar? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Very so, familiar. You, you they know, don't like you. They'll, you right. know. <laughs> so, you know, you, we're talking about people, right? We're dealing with people. Yeah. And just because this is a yeah, legal. Yeah, but people are children. <laughs> Listen, you know, as you know, Aaron, you look at the news every day. Do you see, ever see anything that's yes. unfair? All the time. Every day, right. every every single moment. Right. right. So this this particular venue, the CPS thing, there's it's no different. You know, there's mm -hmm. good people. Look, I, throughout my uh, 35 years as of December, have I ever met social workers that I thought were great, good people? The answer is yes, I have. I have one. The problem one, is the, one, my one guy is great. The problem mm -hmm. is is that I've I've had social workers that are completely the other other spectrum. And, and, right, and right. the problems arise because, you know, sometimes people in the system don't want to recognize that. We have good people and mm -hmm. bad people and everything and a lot in you know, right. everything in between. Let's recognize that and let's not, you know, turn a blind eye to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was saying that with the public defenders as well. Like, there's some really wonderful public defenders. Right. And right. Some really wonderful caseworkers. You just have to you know, figure it out or get right. their attention or something. But, okay, yeah. Aaron, we got to take a break. Engineer's telling me. Uh, we'll be back after these messages with more calls and more questions. Mm -hmm. 